good everyone welcome back to the channel my name is henry and i'm going to be your tour guide in our lumion series so sit back and enjoy okay before we move on we'd like you to do us a favor by hitting the like button subscribing to our channel for more content like this and also hitting the notification bell to get notified once we release a new video once you've done that we thank you and we really appreciate so we're going to move on okay just to recap in our last video we actually talked about how to create animations in lumion but in today's video, we are going to go further into and talk about how to animate objects in the animations we've created. Okay, so without wasting any time, we are going to go to the movie tab where our clips are. Okay, we are going to start from the first setting. To animate objects in this scenery, we are going to go under this effects. That is, this settings will only be applicable to this clip. Just note that. So we are going to go to this add effect and go to move. We are going to start from move. That is the most um, so we are going to click on move ok under move you see this pen icon we are just going to click on it once you have opened the move you are actually going to see this tab and this tab here so this tab actually contains the movement tools where you can move it vertically move it twist it and all so another um, thing it shows is actually these two direction buttons what is showing is this one is a starting position this is the ending position starting position is the position where is to, for you to place the object at the position where you want it to start its movement from and this ending position is where you want the object to end so it's a pretty very straightforward tool so we're just going to click on this starting position now set our starting position for this car we're going to set it somewhere here we're going to set the starting position for this bicycle man here we're going to set the position for this man walking here and we're going to also before we click on finish we're going, going to set the end position by clicking this tab here so as you can see the most the positions of the object change as we just click the end position so we're just going to edit it and move the car to all the way to this position and also move the bicycle man here and move the human here so we're just going to click finish so you are now going to see we're going to play the animation and you're going to see the effect of what you just did so as you can see you can see the man moving in the clip you can see the car moving past the uh, gate as you can see that okay i'm sure you people get the um, steps on achieving this now so we're going to delete this move setting and we're going to explore another setting the next setting we're going to explore we'll go to add effect is advanced move advanced move uh, from the name says it's actually advanced movement so normally with the move setting we just did you can only move objects in one direction but with this advanced move you can move the object in more complex um, directions so we're just going to click on this edit tab here okay so the thing in advanced move you need to consider two things the position of the object in relation to this time bar so this time bar actually depicts weight at this particular time because the time bar actually works with the animation because this animation clip is seven seconds so this time bar works with at this timeline what position will this object be so i'm sure it's quite confusing now but let me you will see you will see as i'm working on it okay so we're just going to click on this time okay we're going to start here and set leave the time bar at empty and we're going to set the starting position of the vehicle first so as you can see something just appeared here this is a key frame so once a key frame appears it means that okay at this point this car is at this position so we're going to extend the time to about let's say 2.5 seconds and i'm going to move the car to this position so as you can see another key frame has appeared meaning at this particular time of the animation this car will be at this position so i'm going to extend the time again to about from here to here is about let me just change it to one second 3.5 seconds that is one second apart so oh, i'm going to click on this rotate tab and rotate rotate this vehicle here and i'm going to move it also so it will gradually be entering this gate okay so i'm also going to set another time frame one second apart i'm going to rotate it again okay let me just rotate it at this position and move it further okay so um the last time frame i'm going to create or the penultimate that is second to the last i'm going to create is at this position so i'm now going to move the car further rotate it further to so be perfectly 90 degrees now and i'm going to move it into the building now 
and the last key frame now so that is the end of the time tab now i'll just move the car to this point as you can see you can see all the key frames this key frame means at this particular timeline this car will be at this position so we're just going to click finish so we're going to go and start the clip from beginning and see what it has yielded so as you can see the even though this animation we created is not that smooth and you can still also edit it anytime but just for this video you understand the scope and you understand how it works okay we are going to delete this advanced move and we are going to explore the last animation tool for today we are going to go to fx again and go to this mass move okay this mass move as the name implies is for moving objects in mass so we are just going to see what it does so we are going to click on this edit tab so we are going to draw a part and this part is where the movement will be affected or the object on this part they will have some effect they will be affected by this uh, by the setting so we are going to create this part and just click on it and then click it again so now the part is created we are going to increase the width of the part as you can see the part is moving in this direction so it means all the objects here especially vehicles will be moving in this direction repeatedly so we are now going to increase the speed of the um, object and this part to about let me use for 50 kilometers per hour okay so we're also going to draw a part on this opposite lane by clicking this add part click here then click here so this all this um, um cars will be affected we're going to increase the width okay not too much we're going to increase the width this way and increase the speed then we're going to click finish so we're going to play this animation click again and see what it has yielded so as you can see the cars will keep moving and it will keep repeating the cars will keep moving again and again and it will keep repeating this can be used when you are creating a kind of large scale animation or a city animation or you are trying to depict a city scenery or city environment okay okay so this is the end of our video please hit the like button if the video was helpful also subscribe for to our channel for more content like this and hit the notification bell to get notified once we release a new video and thanks for watching and have a night nice